Hello friends, in the previous videos we have solved some 1D steady state and transient heat conduction problems in Cartesian and cylindrical coordinates using finite difference method. In this video we are going to solve a 2D steady state heat conduction problem in Cartesian coordinates using finite difference method. Our domain is a copper plate which is 1 meter long and 1 meter wide. The temperatures at the sides of the copper plate are fixed and are shown here as T1 equals 100 degrees C at the top side of the plate, T2 equals 200 degrees Celsius at the right hand side of the plate, T3 equals 300 degrees Celsius at the bottom side of the plate and T4 equals 400 degrees Celsius at the left hand side of the plate. The X and Y coordinates are shown here. Our interest is to find the temperature profile inside the copper plate at various locations. The general heat conduction equation in 3D Cartesian coordinates is given as dou square t by dou x square plus dou square t by dou y square plus dou square t by dou z square plus g over k equals 1 over alpha times dou t over dou t where the uppercase t represents the temperature and is a function of the spatial coordinates x, y, z and time t. Alpha is the material property called thermal diffusivity given in meter square per second alpha equals k over rho c where k is the thermal conductivity of the material in watts per meter kelvin rho is the density of the material in kilograms per meter cube c is the specific heat capacity of the material in joules per kilogram kelvin and g is the volumetric rate of internal heat generation in watts per meter cube our assumptions regarding material thermal conductivity as given or given below here the thermal conductivity along the x direction for example do not vary and hence we call this as homogeneous condition likewise the thermal conductivity along the y and z directions do not vary along each of those directions also we have kx equals ky equals kz equals k which means the thermal conductivity meets the isotropic conditions. For 2D steady state heat conduction with no heat generation, equation 1 reduces to a simpler form. We assume that the temperature does not vary significantly along the z direction when compared with x and y directions. Also the heat generation term g equals 0. Temperature is independent of time, that is, we are assuming a steady state condition. Accordingly, equation 1 becomes dou square t by dou x square plus dou square t by dou y square equals 0, and uppercase t is a function of x and y. The boundary conditions are t at x, y equals 0 equals t1 t at x equals m comma y equals t2, t at x comma y equals n equals t3, and t at x equals 0 comma y equals t4, where m is the length of the domain in x direction and n is the length of the domain in y direction. The above equation is called Laplace equation in two dimensions. To obtain the temperature, we need to solve the above partial differential equation. We will utilize finite difference method to solve the above PDE. To do so, we need to replace the partial derivatives with finite difference approximations. We replace the space derivatives with second order center difference approximations. Accordingly, we get T i minus 1 comma j minus 2 times T i j plus T i plus 1 comma j by delta x square plus T i comma j minus 1 minus 2 times T i comma j 
plus t i comma j plus 1 by delta y square equals 0. For simplicity, let us assume delta x equals delta y. So we get t i minus 1 comma j plus t i plus 1 comma j minus 4 times t i comma j plus t i comma j minus 1 plus t i comma j plus 1 equals 0. Equation 3 is the finite difference approximation of the original equation we were trying to solve. Here i represents the node location along the x-direction and j represents the node location along the y-direction. The finite difference tensile is shown on the right-hand side. From equation 3, we can conclude that the temperature at the center node is the average of the temperature at the four outer nodes. Now let's, let us discretize the 2D domain into a 4 by 4 grid equally spaced as shown below. We have 25 nodes in total. Temperatures are fixed in the border nodes as shown. Our interest is on the 9 interior nodes from 2,2 to 4,4. Let us apply equation 3 on the 9 interior nodes. Accordingly, T12 plus T3,2 minus 4 times T2,2 plus T2,1 plus T2,3 equals 0 for I equals 2 comma J equals 2. Likewise, for the other nodes, the equations are given here. Since we know the temperatures at the boundary nodes, we can move those temperatures to the right hand side of the equations. Accordingly, the equations are rearranged as shown below. To solve this above set of equations, we can arrange them in a matrix form. The matrix shown above is a pentadiagonal matrix. To solve this matrix, we need to use iterative methods such as Gauss-Seidel or successive over-relaxation methods and so on. We will now substitute the boundary conditions on the right hand side. Accordingly, the matrix and the vector are rearranged as shown. We can solve this set of equations using MATLAB. Using MATLAB or other software, we can develop codes for a general case where the number of grid spacings is say m by n. We can then change the number of grid spacings as desired and obtain results accordingly. We can now go back to MATLAB. Here, the length of the copper plate in the x direction is 1 meter and along the y direction is 1 meter. The number of segments along the x length is say 4, that is nx equals 4. Since delta x equals delta y, the number of segments along the y direction is 4 as well. Let's run this program and get the temperature profile. So, these graphical results are presented here. The temperature up the, at the top side of the plate is maintained at T1 as equals 100 degrees C. At the right hand side is T2 equals 100 degrees Celsius. At the bottom side T3 equals 300 degrees Celsius. And at the left hand side T4 equals 400 degrees Celsius. And the temperature inside the domain is shown here. The color bar is shown on the, on the right hand side. The temperature basically varies from about 100 degree Celsius to 400 degree Celsius. Here we represent the temperatures at the interior nodes only. 
Accordingly, the temperatures vary from 180 degrees Celsius to 320 degrees Celsius on the interior nodes. Now let's get back to the MATLAB program and vary the grid spacings. Let's make the number of segments, change the number of segments from 4 to 30 and rerun this program. So the graphical image is shown here. Again, the temperature at the top side of the plate is at 100 degrees Celsius, at the right hand side is 200 degrees Celsius, the bottom side is 300 degrees Celsius, and at the left hand side is 400 degrees Celsius. The temperature profile in the plate is shown here. The color bar is on the right hand side. We'll now get back to the PowerPoint presentation. To summarize, in this video, we presented a 2D steady state heat conduction problem in Cartesian coordinates. The temperature at each of the four sides of the square copper plate is fixed. We solved the problem using final difference method and obtained the temperature profile. We resolved the problem using smaller grid spacings and presented the results. In future videos, we can explore more challenging problems. If you have any questions or comments, please post it. Thanks for watching the video.